Oh! This can't be good! What's up dudes and dudes to the internet, my name's Seth, and today we're gonna be playing Dungeons and Treasures VR. This is a roguelike multiplayer VR game, which is absolutely beautiful. I don't have the full game or anything right now. This is actually just the free demo that we're gonna be messing around with. What are the weird, oh, that's right. I gotta change it to the different types of controls. I guess we're just gonna go to single player today and never mind all the multiplayer stuff, but VR games and roguelikes, they just go hand in hand, don't they? They're absolutely beautiful. There was another VR uh, roguelike that I played called Time to Die, and I was relatively disappointed with the way that it was developed. And somebody actually in the reviews mentioned this game. So that's why we're actually checking this one out, which already I can see that we've got a map, We've got our health down there. Water went down the wrong tube. Calm down. Cubes. I guess that's just our money or something. Old sword, crossbow, and shield. All right, here we go. Sword and shield. I don't really want the shield. So we'll just drop that. Can we Can we take this? No, we can't. Okay. Well, I guess that's the whole point then is we get to use each of these different types of weapons. Old sword, old sword. Well, we could probably dual wield swords, but that's okay. Let's just go into the dungeon ourselves. I like how the door actually automatically opened. That's a lot better than most VR games. Hit! Oh, cool. Can I grab it? I already got the one cube. Ha! All right, it just automatically puts it in our inventory. We don't gotta go and grab it like a freak because that's what most VR games usually have us do, right? Ha! Ah. I'm ready. The fact that this is like two, like multiplayer is the big deal too, right? What the, ooh, oh, that's neat. That's neato. As we're standing in here, we get, actually get to see not the entire map, just a lot of it. Very, very neat indeed. Okay, let's go this way then. So I'm facing away from the camera because that's not awkward, right? Hi ya ha! Take that, you stupid pots. You thought you were prepared. But you're not. This would be so awesome to play this with friends. Like, seriously. Whoa! Okay. Their projectiles are nice and slow. I actually really like it, dude. That's, like, really, really good. Because... Oh, our shield's on a cooldown! Get out! Bad! Ow! I died. This game is not scaled for single player. I can already tell you that much. Like, man alive. That was insanely difficult. I guess it's a roguelike, though, so, you know... That makes it okay, right? <laughs> yeah, totally. Well, let's grab ourselves two cross, two cross. Okay, we can only have like the one or the other. We can't do a wield. Maybe we could do a wield, and I'm just doing it wrong. Did we keep all our money? No, we didn't. Because I'm guessing that's like, is that our XP points or something, or is it actually like, ooh, is it actually like getting us towards a specific goal or something? Uh, but I do actually really like, like, it feels very well done. There's a secret wall right there. Okay, why did we warp backwards? That's weird. Stop that. Secret wall. Oh, cool! Oh, so cool. Okay. Uh, it doesn't actually tell us what's down here. I'm interested. Okay, where's the bad guys, huh? What's down here? There's boss fights and everything, dude. It's really, really awesome. Oh my, well, I'm probably going to die again and again and again, as is the true roguelike fashion. Not to mention I'm like really bad at these games. Hello. Okay, cool. Can I do anything? Yeah, that's weird. Heart container. Aha, because it's a roguelike. So we actually have like an extra heart container now. That's so cool. That reminds me of like Binding of Isaac. Wouldn't that be neat? Is a game like, if this game ended up being like, like Binding of Isaac or something like that. Like I love VR games, dude. I really, really do. It just kind of feels like in most cases, uh, they're not really meeting their full potential of being, you know, a video game that's like fun and entertaining. But this one, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by. Also, it seems like we got to keep uh, the map that we had unlocked from that weird pedestal thing. I probably shouldn't be gathering any of the pots because it's not going to matter if we end up dead, right? Okay. Can we go backwards? There we go. Okay. Why is it, why are these guys like so powerful? What's this? Ha, 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 ha. Take that. Okay. I think we know how to beat archers now. <laughs> Can I snipe them? 
Yes, we can! Is there a cooldown on this thing, the same as our shield? I think that there is, I would just naturally assume it. And then, ooh, I think there's actually some secret walls in this area as well. I wish that the uh, bow itself, like, we didn't have to aim it straight like this. Like, it really hurts my wrist. Okay, uh, no, this doesn't look like a secret wall or anything. That looks like a trap! Okay, somehow we didn't take damage from that. There's another trap over there. Haha! -ha! You thought that you were better than me, but you're not. You're just a stupid trap. Seriously. I like it, though. I mean, at least these guns and stuff like that, it feels very, very polished. Like, really, it feels very well done. And I like how there's torches everywhere, too. Like, it's not just the darkest of night. You know what I mean? Whoa, that's a lot of archers. Okay. Secret strategy. <laughs> you stupid skeletons! I already beat this game! No, seriously. Ooh! Damage up! Permanently or just temporary? That's cool! Dude, I don't see like an indicator anywhere for that extra damage, so I'm assuming that we just have like damage up. Oh! I hope that you can all see it, but that extra heart container that we got it seems like it didn't heal us or give us any more defense. It just gave us another heart container that we can fill up. Yeah, in true roguelike fashion, making it like overly difficult, right? Is there something else over here? Probably a bunch of bad guys. Man, seriously, it's like really difficult uh, to kind of aim this without hurting myself, but at least it does function very, very well. I don't like the fact that I'm like always facing the opposite of you guys, though. That just kind of seems to be how it is. <sighs> you know what else is nice? These enemies actually act properly instead of where they would be able to attack us through the walls. Because that's what usually happens with most VR games as well. That's kind of what I mean when I say... Okay! When I say, uh... Oh! When I say that this game has really good feel to it, we actually destroyed that guy's arrow out of the air. Okay. Yeah! I, okay, uh, there was another trap there that I missed. I was a little bit overwhelmed right there, but uh, that's cool. I want to do that now. Like, even though, even though it probably wouldn't end well for me. You know, like that, that sounds so cool. Just the fact that, yeah! I was trying to move, but the trackpad is like so bad. Like I, I wish that it was just like, that's just a problem with the HTC Vive in general, like I was reading up, is the trackpads uh, right here, those are the first things to go on the controllers. I wish, like my favorite style of movement in VR games is when you hold the button down and then you move in the direction that you're aiming the controller. I can see why that would be a problem, especially when we're using archery Oh, we got a shop! That's where we spend the money! Heart container. Uh, full heart is going to be 85. How much do we got? 233. Uh, bone thrower shoots bones. A sandwich which heals one heart. What's the difference between a sandwich that heals one heart and then this heart that's right in the center? I don't really understand. Also, that character is absolutely terrifying. What did that do? Did that give me a heart? I think it did. Let's buy a sandwich. Aha! So, so it's like an item that's just on my person? Ah, there, I see. So it's like a consumable. So we could have kept that uh, with us as long as we wanted, except I didn't because I'm not good. Okay. And then in this case, that's like a heart container. Uh, that not only is going to give us an extra heart, but it also has the red heart in it. So it's probably going to give us like the full extra life. Ah! I thought for a second I was going to be able to attack him like Zelda, and then he would have just killed me. Because <laughs> that's just, you know, like the Zelda reference, right? They, they should have done that. That would have been funny. Okay, uh, we got another trap over there. Let's see if we could... Ha ha! I dodged it! Totally did that on purpose. So that's why you want to smash like everything along the way, huh? But I guess it doesn't really matter because we're probably not going to be able to afford anything else. 
before we end up dead, here it is, the opportunity. Ha! Yeah! Hey, I hit that one. I hit that one, dude. That's not fair. Huh. There we go. Got that arrow out of the air. Oh, we still got three hearts. We're doing A-OK. -okay. Defense up. Ah! You stupid idiot. The the controls, like the way that it feels is so good. Huh. Ha ha! You didn't expect that one, did you, you dumb trap? Activate. Hee hee! I can hear it go tick and then and then it's like gonna go. So there's a nice little indicator, uh, a sound indicator for the trap. That's the thing that's so cool though, is the fact that like uh, again, this is all multiplayer accessible. Like, that is where it's at. Because playing it solo, this is already quite fun. Oh my gosh. This is already really cool. Let alone if we were actually playing this with friends. Okay, so that's the way that we actually do it. All right, I got you. I got you, you stupid head. I don't even know how I ended up doing that. That was really, really lucky. Ugh, you stupid goblin thing, whatever, mummy, weirdo. Are we going to be able to... Ooh, we got something else up ahead, a big blue glowy thing. That seems interesting. Pot Smash Simulator, that's what this game is. Yeah, okay. I still am facing my back to the camera like the entire time, which... Whatever, that's cool. Is this just more map? Yep, that's more of the map. Can we do things... <gasps> oh! Is that... Can we... Yeah! We could teleport from one location to another! Oh, that's tight. Dude, that is so good. Okay, let's go back to this one. And then let's see. Where do we want to go? Like, there was that other pathway backwards, but I don't really know if I want to go there. Uh, let's go this way, because it looks like we got a nice big room over here. See whether or not we can find anything cool. We've only got a hundred bucks to save our name. Which we we really need more money. Like, dude, seriously. Okay, here we go. Archer. Gotta take him down as soon as possible. Ha! Gah! There you go. There you go. Okay. I was able to block a couple of the arrows. Not many of them, only a couple. Uh, the hit detection on those bad boys seems to be a little bit a little bit wonky. I mean, it works. This looks threatening. No, like seriously, this looks really bad. I like how during that little silent part, you probably heard my cat scream at me because he like woke up and wants attention or something. But too bad, Bobo, I'm in the middle of fighting skeletons. Huh. Okay, there's probably like better ways of dodging too. Like I could probably, huh, you know, physically move out of the way or something. But the other thing that I really enjoy about this VR game is the fact that I'm not, like, I'm not in danger of breaking anything. You know, like, I can just play in my own personal space, my own little bubble, where I don't really gotta move around that much. Hi-ya! There you go, stupid. The, the arrows, I think it would be really, really nice if there was an indicator. That was actually really tight. I feel very accomplished for that. If they had an indicator uh, that would kind of make like the arrow glow while it's in the air or something like coming at you, I think that would be that would be uh, a little bit better. Because otherwise that projectile is like so tiny, I can barely see it as it's flying at my face, right? <laughs> like seriously, okay. We got more archers coming in now. Hup! Okay, okay. Oh, that was awesome, dude. I can't even believe that we ended up actually surviving that. Like, that was so good. And we're getting more and more damage as we keep getting all those different items. Uh, so at least we have a sense of progression as we're doing this. It feels like it anyways, right? Hopefully we can get to, like, the boss. This is a dead end. This is a dead end. What is this going to be? Is it going to be something exciting? I certainly hope that it is. Like, seriously. Otherwise, we got to walk all the way back like an idiot. <gasps> Treasure! Treasure! Hello! Okay, we've got damage up one, 10% more damage, and now I gotta walk all the way back. They really should have like a teleporter out here or something. The sound design could use a little bit of work. Like, it's it's all good and everything, 
But I would just like to hear like maybe some type of ambience or music or something. I mean, that, that's just me though, just kind of what I'm used to with video games. But either way, let's go a little bit further here. Take care of the archer, because they're like the mandatory one we gotta get rid of, and never mind the little mummy dude. Huah! That was pro! That was clutch! I hope you all saw that, but I don't know if you did. I ended up blocking that guy's arrow as it was right at my face. Run! That was seriously so close. Like, we almost got wasted by all those stupid, uh... The stupid arrows in the walls. Okay, uh, our money is at 300, so there's no point in actually going back to visit the shopkeep. Huh! Ha! I see, okay, so it's not really about, like, attacking the arrow out of the air. Uh, it's more about just blocking it with our sword physically. Which I wonder if it would be better to block it sideways then. Maybe there's not even a point in, like... Is it just having the same functionality as the shield? Maybe that's the whole point, right? Is we're just doing the exact same thing where our sword would end up being on a cooldown as well. This is a boss room. Okay. I've gotten enough training, right? Oh, this is terrifying. Uh, 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 oh, this can't be good. This can't be good! Oh my goodness, so all we gotta do is long range attack. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess as he does like all of that stuff, I don't know what's, what is going on? What is going on right now? Okay, he's got like acid clouds on the ground. Now he's spawning enemies. I think that we're supposed to be fighting this guy like with friends or something. Cause this is pretty crazy. This is pretty intense and he's barely taking any damage. How are we supposed to melee him? That's the real question. Like, seriously, this guy is uh, pretty nuts. And it, okay, he's a cheapskate too, where he's just gonna keep spawning infinite minions as soon as they end up dead, right? He's one of those types of enemies where he's always gotta have like two enemies at a time. We're also standing in like an acid pit of like bones. It's like really, really weird stuff, man. Okay, you know what, fine. Okay. The first boss in the game is impossible. So they could do a little bit, little bit for the balancing there. I mean, granted, we're supposed to be playing at multiplayer, but while that boss was really, really cool, I think that they're giving a little bit too much credit to the player because playing in VR, it's very difficult to like dodge things and move in very specific ways. Hey, stop that to dodge things and move in very specific ways. Like, uh, you know, I'm kind of, I've kind of already got my hands full, literally, with trying to attack him, let alone trying to like move left and right and dodge him in very, very specific, like, you know, patterns and everything like that. Still very awesome, but uh, maybe it would have been a little bit better actually playing at multiplayer because there is no way, like I would ever be able to defeat that boss. Maybe I could have explored the rest of the dungeon and got myself like some type of super weapon or something. Cause it is a roguelike. That's kind of the whole point of roguelikes too, is you're never really prepared for the first boss when you get to him for the first time. But still, even as far as just VR is concerned, I'm not that good. Like, when it comes to, like, because of the high level of multitasking that's required for you to concentrate on blocking all the arrows, shooting him with the trigger, and then also moving your character and dodging all the spikes and stuff like that, like, it's a bit too intense. But either way, still an absolutely awesome game. Highly recommend it for the UVR players out there. It's definitely great, especially for uh, a roguelike game. And even if you're just playing like the first core mechanic of exploring the dungeon and stuff like that, the fact that you can do that with friends, I think is just like absolutely awesome. So I'm gonna keep my eye on this one for sure. Uh, and yeah, check it out in the future. But in any case, Thank you so much for watching, very much appreciate it. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. It's also gonna build up loyalty points for my merch store where you can get this shirt and a bunch of others. Links are in the description for that. And links are in the description for everything about this game. So I know what to say, have a good everybody.